Okay guys, uh, this is the part 2 of my series of discussing the stonewall attack. So this position, uh, it's white to move. And as I said, after g5, knight e8 has to be played. Because knight e4 simply drops a pawn. Okay, and um, after, uh, after knight e8, we come to uh, the uh, thematic sacrifice, bishop takes h7. Well, if you're not confident enough to play this, you can always play the regular queen h3. But after g6, it's not so clear uh, whether uh, your attack will be great. Maybe knight g4 intending knight f6 or knight h6. It's also good. Or you can also play queen h4 intending rook h rook f3, rook h3, which is also possible. Okay. But in this position, uh, Bishop takes x7 is the most obvious one. And after king takes x7, check king g8. Rook f3, now comes the attack of rook h3, queen h8 mate. So black has to defend somehow. And after the following moves, queen h6, then g7, in order to block it with the rook. And after rook, rook h3, white simply sacrifices the rook to open the king. And after g takes h5, g6 continues the attack threatening with queen h7 mate and the rest is an easy map up for white queen g6 check king h8 queen takes h5 king g7 queen h6 of course to bring him back on h8 queen h6 and after king g8 queen takes h6 king g7 knight takes d7 and white is simply winning Okay, white is up a piece and ahead of a piece and three pawns plus a very enormous attack, a huge attack. Okay, all right. Now some players might say, uh, well, it's very hard to pull off because how do you play the king's Indian? If you just play the tabia or the setup, Black will come very effectively with the king's agent setup after g6, bishop d3, bishop g7, f4, castle. Uh, there's no need to control e4, so knight f3, d6, castle, knight c6, c3 in order to prevent knight d4 and exchanging the bishop, and rook e8. And after white blindly plays knight bd2, e5 comes with such a force that it will shatter. At it will shatter blacks away in white spawn formation. No? Labang ang black dito. So, this this uh, move order shouldn't be played against the king's agent. But instead, um, as uh, suggested by um, um, National Master Yaakov Norowitz, which I will show the link where I get these ideas from, um, he, he suggests a different... Uh, move order for white in order to meet the king's Indian setup. What he suggests is after d4, knight f6, e3, g6, knight f3, uh, we will uh, try to uh, switch to what we call the anti king's Indian setup or the Zuckertot system, which was popularized by uh, Zuckertot on the early uh, times panahon pa to ni Lestenitz, no well if if white insists on um, getting the uh, the uh, stonewall attack with let's say for example um, d4 knight f6 on e3 g6 and f4 um, there was an interesting game with uh, Yaakov Norowitz against Decision Vili, which happens after Bishop G7, Bishop D3, D6, Knight F3, Castle, Castle, Knight BD7, Knight BD2, and E5. Okay, well, if white tries to uh, play um, 
e4 here instead of knight bd2 switching trying to switch back to to a line of uh, perk defense na delay yung e4 ng white tempo down white will simply play e5 and after the following pawn exchange and then c3 black plays c5 and it 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 transposes to a version wherein black is at one tempo up plus uh, a more dominant position mas maganda yung position ng black compared sa regular line ng perk let me show you the uh, transposition after e4 d6 d4 knight f6 knight c3 g6 f4 bishop g7 knight f3 castle e4 knight bd7 castle after e5 f f d so makikita natin yung difference diba? actually wala pa knight c3 yun eh dito naka knight c3 well, sa version na pinapakita ko naka c3 but in that position here in this position let's say for example c3 nga no? uh, c3 okay in this position it's uh, white kahit na sabihin mong dama uh, white tumove ko knight c3 di ba and here it's blacks to move this is position nila so one tempo down mas maganda yung position so balik natin d4 knight f6 e3 g6 <coughs> f4 bishop g7 bishop d3 castle na knight f3 d6 castle castle knight bd7 knight bd2 in the same break e5 and now for f5 d takes e5 d takes e5 c3 c5 pa rin syempre knight g4 uh, makikita natin na medyo shattered yung pawn structure ng white at the same time black is gaining activity uh, hindi pa naman siguro talo yung white because actually white can play e6 uh, if 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 pawn takes e6 is played, queen e1 seems to be looks equal to me. Actually, it it was um, pointed out by uh, national master Mark Keridnan na playable pato sa sa pute. Now let's look at knight, knight takes e3 instead of f e6. Knight takes e3, queen e2, knight f1, e7. Knight d2, and after e d8 queen, well, kapag hindi inalaw ng black yun, uh, let's say black white plays bishop takes d2, medyo unclear yung position, no? maybe uh, rook e8, I mean, I mean, queen e8. It looks unclear to me. So, na lang, it's clear. Takes d8. Knight takes f3. And after queen takes f3, rook takes d8. Which shows unclear position. Uh, material imbalance. Pero at the same time, very, marami pang pwede mangyari. No? Um, so, let's try to go back. So in this position, d4, knight f6, e3, g6, knight f3, bishop g7, bishop e2, castle, and then b3. This is the Sukertot system against the um, king's engine, which uh, the dark square bishops are likely to be exchanged at some point. Um, magkakaroon ng capture, capture dito sa... Uh, diagonal na to. Yan yung pinaka main idea ng Sukertot system. No? Imimit niya yung uh, uh, freshness ng bishop g7 sa magitan ng bishop b2. Okay. So, after d6, bishop b2, knight bd7, uh, castle, e5. Well, c5 has the advantage of keeping the pawn at e7 para depensahan yung potentially weak square sa f6 well rook e8 uh, let's say for example rook e8, rook e8 c4 e5 takes takes 
uh, white can come up with a very interesting move. Knight takes e5. And after knight takes e5, you can play queen takes d8. And then bishop takes e5. Okay, which, uh, which is a pawn up for him. So, hindi pa pwede agad yung, yung e5 break after c4. Well, let's play e5 at once. d5 and knight g4. Taking advantage na hindi pwedeng mag-move tong pawn kasi makakain yung bishop sa b2. c4, knight g takes c5, takes, takes. Well, d takes e5 seems better kasi mas, mas mahirap i-exchange yung dark square bishop pero I consider it less dynamic when it comes to option kasi nakapin din tong pawn eh tsaka anytime na magpa pawn storm ka white can counter on this half open d file no? pwede siyang magkaroon ng mga ideas bishop a3, rook d1 uh, knight d5 ideas we, we would like to make the position more simpler <coughs> so knight takes e5 queen d2 defending the bishop b2 and after bishop e6, knight c3, the idea is to play e4, and then f4, or e4, knight d5, and then f4, and white will have a very strong attack. Well, if knight g4 agad, after, I mean, instead of knight c3, knight f4 agad, well, after knight g4 takes, takes, and then here, and then e4, I don't think this is uh, good for white kasi medyo loose yung pawn sa e4 at the same time this half open e5 makes it difficult for white to actually watch over the e4 square and I don't think white's knight is superior to black's bishop either so it's very premature so let's try to go back so knight c3 is better Okay, and after queen d7, e4, rook a d8. Let me show you how, how what happens. f4, knight g4. Mm, well, knight c6. Pag knight c6 kasi, f5 is a good move. After g takes f5, takes, takes. There's a very strong move, knight e5, threatening rook takes f5, and then, or possible um, attack sa dark square, no? Not actually agad-agad na rook takes f5, but of course, queen g5 is threatened. So, I think uh, white has a very uh, strong attack here. So, let's go back. Knight g4. And then the same idea, f5. And white has a winning attack. Uh, g takes f5. Well, bakit hindi nag bishop a6? Eh, queen e1 lang yung wala problema. And white will just continue the attack. With bishop e3, just king h1. And everything is hanging for and for black. <coughs> so g takes f5. e takes f5. Bishop takes f5. Knight e5, and after bishop e6, and then knight f6 check, which is very favorable for for white. Because uh, if bishop takes f6, bishop takes f6, followed by queen g5, which is a killer. Let's try to go back. Konti, ah. Pakita ko lang konti. Okay, so... After f5... Tama, tama. After f5... Actually, here, black plays king h8, giving up the queen, hoping for some counterplay, but... White plays queen d3 and um, here 
black reside. Okay, just to mind you, it it was not a game played between two amateurs, no. This is a game between national master uh, Yaakov Norowitz versus uh, no other than Alex Triponsky, which is a grandmaster in the U.S., a well-known grandmaster in the United States, who is known for playing um, the King's Indian defense. So let's try to uh, look at that game. Well, basically, hindi yung laro na yun, but a, a, a different game. Let's just show it. So d4, d5, e3, knight f6. Well, since the SWA or Stonewall attack is some most probably uh, underestimated ng karamihan ng mga opponents, uh, especially yung mga master na kasi uh, they think it's just an opening setup. It's not a system. And katulad nga ng paliwanan ko kanina, pag setup is considered madaling kontrahin o pag alamin mo lang yung move order ng kalaman. But if you do not read, um, if you haven't read Andrew Soltis' book, which is entitled Stonewall Attack, um, pinakita rito kung paano yung possible lines ng white na lalamang siya sa black, no? So if you're not aware of that, then you can easily uh, uh, be tricked into going to some systems that are uh, considered not favorable to you. So after knight f6, bishop d3, c6. <clears throat> well, normally, uh, black plays knight c6 here. This is called the Horowitz defense. So that after f4, black plays knight b4, eliminating the bishop on d3. That's just one of the replies of black, and I will discuss it later. c6, knight d2, controlling the e4, bishop g4. Uh, this is uh, a popular anti-stonewall line, especially at that the GM level. Topalub himself plays it, as we shall see on game 2. The bishop temporary develops with tempo, tempo kasi nga hindi nga possible ng f4 agad kasi nga naharas yung queen mo ng bishop g4. So if f3 bishop h5 knight e2 after bishop g6, the, the bishop on t3 is uh, neutralized already. The popular way to meet the bishop move is knight e2 at once. So, so that if black plays knight bd7, f3, bishop h5, knight f4, and after bishop g6, knight takes f6, which is considered uh, good for white. After f4, iko continue na lang yung stonewall, stonewall structure niya with a double pawn on g6 square. So instead, instead of knight bd7, uh, actually, yan yung play, knight bd7, f3, bishop h5, knight f4, bishop g6, well, here, e5 is also playable after knight f4, e5 is playable. So that after it takes takes, <laughs> castle, hindi pwedeng h4 kasi may check sa h4, no? Hindi pwedeng f4. If f4, queen h4 check, it's good for black after karang kain nyo. So hindi siya, hindi siya, sorry, hindi siya possible. So after uh, e5, castle first, and then <coughs> knight h f6. Hindi pa yung bishop d6 kasi e f4 name white ne. So here, if if uh, black white plays f4, he can play he can play e4. Medyo lalamang na, medyo medyo labang yung stone wall dyan. yung black sorry yung black so instead white has to play c4 and after c4 white enjoys the two bishops okay medyo okay so okay so i'll uh, show the uh, the rest of the game on my uh, next installment, part 3. Thank you. Please make sure you watch part 3.